maybe. Or is it a yes, sir? Good morning, family. Nice guy, Stephen Lane for the answer. Joe Shaska, the butcher. <laughs> we got Craig back on the board. Sam Lubman producing. Bonte Hill. Good morning to all the roasters out there on the roadways. Getting off your graveyard shift. If you've been sleeping under a rock on YouTube, Twitch, or the Comcast business text line, Jimmy Garoppolo's back on a restructured one-year deal for $6.5 million. No trade clause, but they can get through that. We'll see what happens with that. Mm. But when the news broke... The first text I saw was from Shasky and Rocco. Yeah. Unreal, unreal, unreal. I'm just trying to hit the pool and just relax. I'm like, what the hell are these guys talking about? And yes, Jimmy Garoppolo news broke at 222 West Coast time, Adam Schefter. And so we did an IG Live, Shasky and I. He's chopping up garlic. He's barbecuing. He's on the golf course flexing. I said, Shasky, you know what? The roasters need to hear from you today. They need to hear from him. On vacation or not. Yep. He's live from the Russian River. Shasky joins his own damn show. Shafsky, the butcher. What's happening, my man? Garoppolo's back. Garoppolo's back. <laughs> Garoppolo's back. When I first heard the news, I was in complete shock and awe. And then as I start to mature and get a little older, I'm a seasoned veteran now, <laughs> I tried to soak this thing in. Have you guys ever heard of the, there's a poet, Shakespeare. He has a line. <laughs> and here's the line. I, never heard I want of you to listen closely, okay? okay? <laughs> in situations of love and war, you do not have to obey the rules of reasonable behavior. And what that means is that you're trying to build the best damn roster top to bottom. Is it chaotic? Is it a circus? Of course it is. You know, Jimmy Garoppolo coming back, we all cast him off. I mean, it felt like he was beheaded like Ned Stark at the beginning of, of Game of Thrones. But yet here he is, risen from the dead, back on the team. If this is about winning a Super Bowl... You have an obligation to build the best team top to bottom. And no one with a straight face can say Jimmy Garoppolo on this team is a worse team. It's a better team. And the way I view backup quarterbacks is very simple. Bonte, you and I have had this conversation for years. We talk way too much about the backup. Yeah. If the quarterback misses three games, can your backup win at minimum one? Well, Right now, Jimmy can win two at minimum. He can win two of the three games if Trey goes down. This is a brilliant, genius move. I give credit to John uh, Lynch. <laughs> I give credit to Jed York, Parag Marate, because if you don't have a good relationship with an individual, none of this is going down. There's no doubt. And real quick, let me jump in. Yeah. We talked last Friday, Shasky. You know how I feel about Brock Purdy. You know how I feel about Nate Subfield. Yeah, he stinks. They both stink. They both stink. So... Yes, they do look better on paper with Jimmy Garoppolo in the quarterback room. But you mentioned the chaos. And look, we should be accustomed to this in San Francisco. I know a lot of people saying Montana Young. This isn't Montana Young. These guys are... I mean, come on. Let's yeah, yeah. look, 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 pump the brakes. It's more so Alex Smith Kaepernick if we want to go that route. But it is... You brought up the word chaotic in the circus. We know whenever Trey Lance, if he struggles... And he's not going to get the same leash Jimmy Garoppolo got last season when the Niners dropped to three and five. We know those cameras are going to pan to Jimmy G and everybody's going to talk about it and that noise. But I do believe, Shasky, that Trey Lance is mature enough and he's got the mental capacity to handle a situation like this. Rory McIlroy came up with a quote yesterday. He was talking about how he got so good to where he is right now. You know how? Playing against better people, playing with competition, iron sharpens iron, baptism in the fire. Why are we walking away from this? Why are we shying away from it? If we believe Trey to be that dude, if you drafted him and you traded all this ammunition to get him, why are we worried about Jimmy Garoppolo breathing down his neck? You know who's going to be breathing down his neck? 888-957-9570. After every single missed pass, every caller, every fan, every person who's emotionally invested in this Media organization. Member? Media members? Yeah. So what? That comes with the duty. That comes with the obligation of playing quarterback, not just in the NFL, for one of the heralded, most decorated positions in sports, 49er quarterback. I'm not shying away from it. I don't think Trey will. I think it's going to bring the best out of him. Shasky, number one, I thought you were going to do this from the hot tub, live from the hot tub, but you're not, so just want to get My that out. My hot tub is not installed not, yet. Not, oh, wow. not, not installed. Not installed yet. Not installed yet. <laughs> wow. I mean, Bonte's going to have like wow. a hot tub clause now in his contract. The Anytime cocky, that he fills it live, hey, he's going to hey, go Lafer, from a bot. What? Layford, the, the cockiness that is just streaming through the show <laughs> no, right building, now. I'm just, building the it. The arrogance is just unbelievable. I'm it's building, contagious. I'm building it underground. Uh, but 
what's your what's your reaction though, Shasky, to those saying that this is an indictment on Trey Lance? What's your response to those who believe that I mean, it's an indictment on Trey Lance? Because we got a text at the Comcast Business Tax Line, Shasky. They were saying that you're oblivious if you don't think it's an indictment on Trey Lance. And you know my stance on it, man. Like yeah, I didn't yeah. really want Garoppolo on this team, but I didn't know that he was going to be taking a nineteen million dollar pay cut to stay here. I mean, look, this is more about financial business savvy. I talk about this all the time. Jimmy as a $24 million backup. No, no one wants that. Jimmy as a $24 million starter being traded for. Clearly the league around as a whole said, no, 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 no. Nobody wants him. Now, when you suppress that salary down to six and a half million and he makes less than what Trey Lance is making right now, there's a clear hierarchy here, guys. Like this is very cut and dry. Trey's the guy. Jimmy's the backup. It, it's not the other way around. Look, how is this any different from Joe Flacco backing up Zach Wilson? Like, you want to have a veteran in the quarterback room who, if the starter goes down or if he has prolonged struggles and you got to go to the bullpen, he's there. Look, people that are cemented in the Jimmy camp will not budge off their position. No doubt. And those that are cemented in the Trey camp are going to be budged off there. I'm a Niner fan. I want the best 53-man roster, top to bottom. Jimmy G at $6 million as the backup gives you the best roster possible. Why are we arguing this? You know the voice. You know who he is. It's Joe Shaska <laughs> the Butcher, live from the Russian River. He's on fire right now at 8, 10 in the morning. I had to have him on the show because the Roasters, they demanded to hear from him about this move. They wanted to hear from Shasky and his thoughts on this move by the 49ers. By the way, some breaking news here. The Saints are trading DB it? Chauncey Gartner Johnson to the Philadelphia Eagles at their extension talks broke down. This damn player is a good, good safety in the league. Philadelphia looking stronger in the secondary. Shasky, your thoughts on the way the 49ers handled the situation dating back to the end of the year presser with John Lynch and Shanahan and when Garoppolo basically said it's been real Niner fans see you when I see you it slow played they slow played this like they were my wife trying to go to the restaurant of her choice it's my turn to determine where we're going to eat and you know my wife well we just had Mexican. We just had Chinese. We just had Mediterranean. And then you slow play it, and she gets the pizza that she wants at the end. That's what the Niners did here. They let him bleed out. I'm serious. He looked around the office. I guarantee you, this is a to me, this is an indictment on Don Yee. But they looked around the league, and everyone was like, we like you, Jimmy, but not at $24 million. You got a surgery. You can't throw. Why would we bring you in now? Like, this was about leverage. And slow play. The Niners had the leverage, and they slow played this thing out because the calendar was in their favor. And at the very end, with his tail between his legs, Don Yee had to take a $19 million pay cut. Well, let me, let, let, let me throw this at you, though. Let me throw this at you. Did, the, did Don Yee and Garoppolo possibly pull a power play on the 49ers and use leverage against them? Because maybe Garoppolo looked around and said, I really don't want to go to Carolina. I really don't want to go to Cleveland. This team is built to win a Super Bowl. I'd rather stick around here and maybe Trey struggles. I'll get another shot. Sure, I may have to take a pay cut down the line, but this is the best situation for me. And I'm going to go ahead and get the surgery to where I'm untradeable. I'm untradeable. And then they have to make a big time decision close, close to kickoff. Bonte, it's a fair point. But if I was Jimmy, I'd be sitting here going, Mitch Trubisky's making more than me this year. Mitch Trubisky? Jimmy's already got 100 a, a, He's already got $100 million saying, in the bank. I'm just, yeah. Your job as an agent is to get the best deal yeah. year to year and put you in the situation to win and showcase yourself. Now, in Jimmy's defense, what Mitchell Trubisky did last year was go to Buffalo, mm -hmm. not really play at all, and then boom, his value a year later was actually higher right. than it was the year before. Could that happen with Jimmy? I don't know. But from a 49er business, tactics, financials, from a team-building standpoint – Parag gets tons of flowers today. Jimmy is a more tradable asset, if need be. He's also uh, under what Trey Lance is getting. So as the owner of the business, Jed York, boy, I would have a hard time writing a check to somebody not paying, paying him four times what my starting quarterback yeah. is getting. Now he's making less than him. I think that works better in just the, the employee dynamic in the locker room. Like, B, I don't see how this is a bad thing. The Niners have all the leverage here. If Trey gets hurt or if he struggles, you can go to Jimmy. If Jimmy is desired I'm by another team, you take. can get a pick. I'm Why shocked. is this bad? I I'm, want the listen, best team possible. Listen, no, I no, want no, to no. win the Super Bowl. Shasky, 
I am shocked because I've thrown at you for a long time this all season, and I and we all agreed that Jimmy is he really going to take a pay cut? We didn't think that was possible. We didn't think no, that was possible. But I, I said, do you I want Jimmy? Wrong. And you were just like, I want Jimmy gone. Gone out of the locker room. We just had a conversation last Friday after Sudfield and Brock Purdy stunk it up, and that hype train died. Thank for thank the heavens that died. But everybody's pumped up Brock Purdy. I'm like, it's the worst thing in the world to have Jimmy. And a lot of our conversations with the roasters and everybody was, let Jimmy walk. We just had Jerry Rice on yesterday. Bonte, Jerry Rice, Bonte. hold on real quick. Jerry Rice was on yesterday on this show, and he said, you got to let Jimmy walk. This is Trey's team. You don't need that dynamic in the locker room. So I'm just, I'm puzzled. I'm shocked. I get, okay. uh, you're spot on about everything about the financials, but I'm shocked that you're okay with number 10 being back after all the conversations we've had over the last three years. Look, look, it's like anything in life. It's about acquisitions, leverage, supply and demand, right? So Jimmy at 24 million? Hell no, I don't want him here. Especially when I know I got Nick Bosa's contract coming up. I got to sign this guy and I can roll the money over from year to year to be able to give him that. I want the best 53-man roster, top to bottom. You don't get a Charvarius Ward if you don't have free agent money to be able to spend. You don't be able to, to extend someone like Debo Samuel if you don't have good finances. So, B, at $24 million, I'm out. At $6 million, I'm all in, baby. Wow. This is about real estate acquisition. This is like him. This is getting a house that is a million dollars under the market value. (laughs) Jimmy's worth 15 million at minimum. Even the biggest Jimmy G hater would say Jimmy's probably worth about 15 million as a starting quarterback around the league. Yeah, they're making less. Their quarterback room makes less than one quarterback in Carolina. I know. This is a genius move by Parag. So November 1st is the trade deadline, Chasky, and you said that. He is a tradable asset, or at least it makes him more of a tradable asset right now. Absolutely. Like, but as we're talking about it, though, it doesn't even feel like a trade would be in the cards. Like, if you're up to November 1st, it feels like the only reason you trade him is, well, maybe you do get an offer. But also, you don't feel like the season is going anywhere because if you want to keep Jimmy Garoppolo on this team, you want to keep him there as an insurance policy. I don't even see him being traded. I see him being on this team through the rest of the season. Who cares? Like, I uh, think you let it play out, mm. right? I, one of the best things to be is flexible, right. right? Just see where the wind takes you, all right? And be adaptive to the environment. If they need Jimmy, he's there. If someone else needs Jimmy more than the Niners need Jimmy, and they can get something back that's better than a third-round pick, again, as unlikely as that seems, then do it. This has been the weirdest thing I can ever remember. It's the most like, bizarre I, situation, yeah. I, 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 there is nothing. When I went to camp with you, Stephen, and I saw him throwing on the freshman field, as I call it, there's the varsity fields, and then there's the freshman field yeah. off to the side. I kept thinking, something is up. This, this is so weird. I don't get this. Why is he in Niner uh, gear? Why is he throwing the Niner people? Why are they wasting time and resources? I did not believe him adjusting his salary was even in the cards. And the fact that somehow there's a loophole where they get a third-round pick if they play the year out, I just, look, as much as I bash Parag, you got to give him his flowers. And Jed York, look, I've laughed at Jed a variety of times over the years. Jed, you said it. You said you were willing to pay Jimmy G, and you came through. And all I asked from my owner Spend the money, get out of the way. He did that in this situation. And kudos to John Lynch for being a former NFL player to sit down with Don Yee and Jimmy and figure this out. How many Trent Bulky would have never been able to make this work? I can't believe I can't believe what I'm hearing right now. I am so shocked. I'm so shocked about this. Trey Lance, of course, is a starting quarterback. Shanahan, we're gonna hear from later. I believe what, 10 a.m.? He goes on to he, he talks to the media. <laughs> Before practice, hey, so maybe I'll, we'll carry that live on 95.7 game. I'll say this for Shasky, though. Shasky was turning around on the idea of possibly keeping Jimmy as a backup. He was getting to it. Yeah, I, I believe you talked about it when when you yes. were in Paris, uh, Bonte. Did he I, really? Yeah. You guys didn't tell me that. You were saying, you were saying, you know, I'm turning around flex. on it. Well, you didn't tell me that. <laughs> it because, was a flex moment. It was <laughs> called change of heart. It was called a change of heart, I said. I had a change of heart, and I said, if you could rework a two-year deal, which sounds very unlikely, I would probably do it. Bonte, what is the downside of having a guy who can come in and win two out of three games? No, 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 no. It's not that. 
is that we had this conversation and you were ready to literally rip my head off. Veins were popping out of your neck with the thought of Jimmy sure. Garoppolo being back on this roster. So this change of heart happened when I was God? I was God? Yes. And then when I came I'm back, I'm a more sane man without you. Oh my gosh, this is unbelievable. <laughs> this is unbelievable. And this is a microcosm. Hey, Hold on. This is a microcosm of what the 2022 NFL season is going to be like this year. It's going to be a roller coaster. Last year was nothing compared to what we're about to embark on starting on 9-11 in Chicago. I feel like this is the end of a Scooby-Doo thriller where someone's ripping off the mask. Uh -huh, I got you, little kids. And it was Parag all along working in the shadows like he's the emperor. I'm t I cannot believe they got Jimmy to not only not get traded, reduce his salary, stay here, and now they get the best of both worlds. The leverage to trade him if need be, or you just keep him. Like, the, sometimes the best moves are the ones you don't need to make. In this situation, I'm telling you, Don Yee whiffed here. And this is no, a I, I huge actually think, Niner no, acquisition. No, I see, I don't. I disagree with that. I think Don Yee knows that this is the best situation for Jimmy Garoppolo. He goes to Carolina, you're not winning a damn thing. You're lost in the shuffle. Well, you're going to struggle. You go to Seattle behind two rookie offensive tackles, and they may be really good one day. That's a disaster waiting to happen for his client. He goes to Cleveland in that division with the Pittsburgh Steelers. You see their defense and the Baltimore Ravens with all their healthy guys coming back and uh, uh, the Cincinnati Bengals. That is not the most ideal situation for Jimmy Garoppolo. I think Don Yee was like, look, we need to stick in San Francisco. We've already got them under the wood. We've already got $100 million from this team, from this organization. You've made a ton of money, and you have another chance to win, to, to cash in on another big-time contract. I think this is the best situation for Jimmy Garoppolo. So I think Don Yee actually did it a solid. The $18 million that they gave away with the restructured contract, hey, it's water under the bridge. It's water under the bridge because if Jimmy Garoppolo plays this year and he wins, you know the tide is going to turn quickly Bonte, get Bonte, jimmy he back in have to win he doesn't even have to win i told you mitchell trubisky didn't win he didn't do anything but all the clipboard last year and he went from like a eight nine million dollar salary or i think he was on a three-year deal a three million dollar deal in buffalo to like a 17 million dollar deal without throwing a meaningful pass he could just stand there and be a good soldier and someone will give him a one-year deal i think long-term deals for the rest of his career that's out the window he, he's a year-to-year -year guy from here on out but that's that's not maybe really not if he for, wins for them, not if he wins them, somebody give him a two-year three three-year deal he's still younger enough okay okay we can argue about that till we're blue in yeah. the face right now <laughs> trey lance needs to play well and i love that they're holding him accountable with this and i think that this gives them a nice safety net i don't see what the downside is and if the guy is so emotionally fragile well then you drafted the wrong guy well, like that. period like this is you've been competing your whole life your whole life all right and somebody's in there you tried to compete last year did jimmy garoppolo fold no we got the best out of him come week 18 i expect the same thing to happen with trey lance and this is also on shanahan that i i do agree with that if trey lance can't handle this situation he's not the guy however think about how difficult it must be for him when debo samuel said i had a career year catching passers from jimmy garoppolo george kittle hey jimmy garoppolo was my guy he was my guy that locker room loved jimmy loved jimmy and with the reports now, Michael Silver wrote a column today in the Chronicle saying that Jimmy, Trey Lance was so up and down in training camp. Maybe the 49ers brass is like, oh, we don't know about this one. This is a tough spot. No matter what, he could be the mentally strongest guy in the world. Of course. It's not Jimmy. Jimmy had to handle it, but he had those guys behind him because Trey Lance was a rookie. Trey Lance is an unproven second-year quarterback Bonte. with Jimmy breathing down his neck. And you know Jimmy wants to play. And that locker no, room knows. Not. And that locker room knows. Dating back to 2019, they've won a lot of big games with Jimmy Garoppolo. A lot of big games. And they've been in a lot of big games with number 10. This is not an easy spot for Trey. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. But it's a hell of a lot easier than being the New York Jets quarterback. It's a hell of a lot easier than maybe being the Jacksonville Jaguars quarterback. Look, there is a tremendous amount of pressure. There's no doubt about it. I, I, I will not dismiss that. But in terms of putting you in a position to succeed as a young quarterback, B, I'll take a little Jimmy G breathing on my neck as opposed to every defensive lineman in the backfield, yeah. every snap of my career is Trevor Lawrence. Like, I'm just being real. Yeah. Like, yeah, you would love to have that long leash. How'd that work for Alex Smith early in his career? How's that work for a lot of young quarterbacks? When you yeah. go to a crappy team, like, I'm sorry, the Joe Burrow story is amazing because it's so unique. Most fail because the settings around them stink. Trey has an opportunity to succeed because of the depth 
of the 53-man roster. Jimmy shouldn't be breathing down his neck, affecting him at all. And again, if it does, then they probably picked the wrong guy. I mean, D- Shasky, to me, like when I'm thinking about it, it doesn't feel like there's any downside as far as right now. Like the only things that I'm thinking about and whenever I'm trying to, you know, come up with all these different angles and thinking about this, you know, at a certain standpoint, like all of it is based on if, which I don't think is, you know, is fair on Trey. Like a lot of it is just based on, well, if Trey struggles, if they do this, if they do that. Like personally, I think the biggest if is if Trey does struggle and they bring in Jimmy Garoppolo and then let's just say they go to the NFC Championship or even the Super Bowl. I mean, if that happens. Like, I don't think it's going to be as simple as, oh, yeah, they're just going to let him test free agency in 2023. Oh, my god! But that's the biggest if. And like you said, well, you got to wait till the season starts. Let me ask you guys this. I don't know the answer to this. Right. But when Philadelphia, Philadelphia had Carson Wentz, a young ascending quarterback yep. who was like an MVP candidate. Yep. He goes down late in the yep. year. Nick Foles comes in. Are they regretting no. anything? Like, honest to God, they want their Super Bowl. That's what I want. No, I don't care how well, it gets done. Well, you know me, my best friend's from Philly, the Philly Zoo, and a lot of people in Philadelphia, because they got, Carson Wentz got hurt the next year. Foles was in the playoffs. Al John Jeffrey drops a, drops a pass I, in the I second know. round against the Saints. A lot of people in Philadelphia regret that move because Baldy. It's funny you bring that up because Baldy was regret just on. What move? And he no, the regret Carson, what move? Nick Foles. They wanted to keep Nick Foles around. A lot of people in okay. Philadelphia. And in the minute, but do they do they regret the Super Bowl? Is what I'm of, saying. Oh, like, hell no. What it's happened it's after. the first ever Super Bowl. Hell no, and they don't regret the Super Bowl. Who hell cares no. how you get it done? I don't care if you're Jim Hostetler replacing Phil Sims. True. It doesn't. To me, it doesn't yeah. matter. No, it doesn't. Get the Super Bowl. I'll worry about the off season and the off season. This is about putting together the most comprehensive. Deep team that you can. And I think mission accomplished. Yeah, this is unbelievable. This is wild. I, honestly, the news broke yesterday. I, I Just in my wildest dreams, after what we saw in SoFi Stadium with Jimmy Garoppolo and the playoffs and all the bashing we've done, we've all done it. Because I believe Jimmy I Garoppolo in my I'm lifetime guilty. in my lifetime has been the most underappreciated 49er in my lifetime. The most underappreciated 49er mm-hmm. in my lifetime. I just can't believe he's back. After I, all this stuff, it, after all the word salads we heard from all everybody, look, it's a great it, move for the. At the end of the day, I'm with you. It's a great move for the 49ers to have him as a backup, as opposed to Nate Sudfeld and Brock Purdy. But we know what we're getting into when this season starts. I, let, what, agreed, totally agree. For all of the people out there that were doing Brock mania, Brock and roll. Oh my gosh! Look in the mirror. <laughs> I want you to look in the mirror. And I want you to take a nice cold shower, and I want you to evaluate where your life is right now. The fact that you were opining over the cutting of Brock Purdy. Wow. Like, seriously. Seriously. Because I was that guy with Nick Mullins. You're unbelievable, my I was God. ready to Brock and roll all night and Purdy every day. Oh, my gosh. Hey, can I be honest, though, guys? Yeah. As much as we're like going crazy, and look, it's the top story, no yeah. doubt about it. As much as we're going crazy about the quarterback, I'm red flagging the Debo Samuel thing. There, this, There's no doubt. I'm very, very, yeah. very worried. No synergy with Trey Lance. Yep. Didn't work with him all off yep. season. Bonte, you have highlighted his injury history for the last three years, and it's it's accurate and fair to question it. And now he's got the back of the knee bone bruise. I'm very worried yeah. that we sunk a ton of money into this guy. And again, I'm watching him wide receiver drills. He's a football player. Yeah. But as a wide receiver, I'm red flagging him. Dude. I think he's actually going to take more running back snaps yep. than I originally thought. I-, I was like, wait till November and December. No, no, no. To no. me, use it all well, up. I don't care how well, you got to get the best out of Debo. From dude, day one till the end of the season, use him however well, you need to. Well, that's why I always thought I always thought that Brandon Ayuk is a better rock runner than Debo Samuel. He's a better pure wide receiver than Debo Samuel. Debo's a playmaker, a playmaker. But exactly. when I don't see separation on go routes, when I hear and, him talking about, yeah, me and Trey couldn't link up in the offseason— we talk about Jimmy Garoppolo ghosting the organization. I can't have my star wide receiver ghosting my second year quarterback. That was a red flag to me. And um, yes, he is getting you. monitored, no doubt about that. Shasky, go enjoy vacation. We love you, buddy. That was 27 minutes of straight hot fire. We'll talk to you next week, man. I, I love you guys. And if anyone needs to seek help, it's me because I'm supposed to be on vacation. Yeah, Steven, you are. Hold you it are. down. Yeah, yeah, straight, no baby. Go have some barbecue, man. <laughs> Tell yeah, Shasky to butcher. <laughs> oh, man, look at this guy. He's flexing. He's flexing. More coming up. Sparky, Bobby, David, Coach, Danker. We're all getting to you on the other side. And that's coming up. Sponsored by Fremont Bank. Full service banking. No compromises.